Hello and welcome to Lassie Food and Barbecue. Today we're going to cook some ribeye. I bought a whole ribeye and I'm going to trim it, cut it into steaks and cook it on the grill. So let me show you what we've got. Okay, so this is what we've got. It's um, about seven and a half pounds. Uh, I'm going to trim away some of the top layer here and some of the silver skin and then I'm going to leave it like that. I want the steaks to be fairly large. I'm gonna, we're gonna be seven for dinner, so I'll cut this into 10 steaks, I think. So, something like that. And there we go. And uh, today we're gonna use bastard rub. So I'm just gonna rub, put a little bit of rub on there. Just dry rub them and then let them rest until it's time to put them on the grill. And like I said, we're going to use the Portex today. It's going to be a new experience. I hope it's working. So it will be indirect until I reach about 120 and then I will uh, sear them over the funnel to get them eatable. And I'll see you out by the grill. Okay, so the grill is at 350. I put a little piece of alder on there and then I'm just going to place the ribeye around the edge like this and um, hope for the best. We'll let these stay on here for about 10 minutes or so and then I'll check on them. If you're looking you ain't cooking, it's not going to work for me today because I'm a little bit too nervous about this. I don't want to burn anything or lose anything. Okay, so I'll just leave it like that and I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, so it's been 15 minutes and I turned them over once, so time to probe them now, I think. And they're a little bit different in thickness, so I'm gonna start with this one. That one is actually gonna be well done, it's at 130. 130 over there, 125. The cooler over here, that one's only 110, 102, that one goes over here. Gonna start keeping them together. Yep, yeah, it's cooler on this side, definitely. This one is only 90, but it's a big one. Got some big boys for dinner tonight, 90. That one goes over there, see that immediately. Yeah, 110. So I'm gonna start searing them in a little bit. I'll be back. Okay, so it's been five more minutes. And I think it's time to sear these. Gonna have to move that to the side and I'll uh, just start with the small ones and uh, kind of add them to the side. Move that one, put it over there. It's just charcoal now. And I'll put two of them over here. So this is the jet engine effect. I'm gonna do this for about a minute and I'm gonna check them <laughs> a little bit scared oh it's hot on there I'm gonna flip that one over this one as well I can see now that the bowl I used it's got quite a small opening at the top so I think that's Gonna make it hard to do them two at a time. Well, they'll keep cooking. Yes, I'll take one at a time, just like so. Oh, this one started glowing. Okay, just turning the camera around. This is what we're gonna serve it with it. We have some uh, onion, of course. You can't have too much onion. And then I have, <laughs> this is actually pre-made potatoes. It's Provencal French potato that I bought at the restaurant store. I couldn't really resist them because they um, had a tasting and I figured well I should actually use this today. So I'm just gonna fry them up a little bit and um, serve them with the meat. Okay so that's the last piece on the sear. It's almost done and um, I'm gonna get these off 
and I'm gonna bring them in and I'll uh, or actually I'm gonna do a taste taste up here out here because there's so many people in there that want food they can't really be quiet so I'm gonna take that one off right now and that's it see you in a bit okay um, it smells so good I'm just gonna cut through here and uh, I'm gonna see what we have well it's actually a little bit too well done for my taste but I think I'm gonna be able to live with that and I'm gonna bring you in for a taste test okay so there we go my first ribeye on the Portex uh, actually my first whole ribeye that I ever bought but I'm gonna try this hmm this was actually not that well done it's not I'll pr probably put it at medium maybe medium well but I don't know I'll learn how to use the thermometer in the future hey GB really nice rub okay I'm gonna have to serve this up and um, I'll see you next time thank you for watching Bye.